The Jazz Club has been officially revealed over on Lego.com. Yes, it's a tailor. The guy with the scissors is the tailor. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, not really do. The Jazz Club, 2,899 pieces, 8 minifigures, 230 bucks, coming out January 4th, 2023, January 1st, if you are a VIP. It's decent, in my opinion. The full set is decent. The colors don't make me angry or make me happy. I'm not blown away by it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the colors from what I'm seeing on some of the comments on Instagram, but to me, I don't really have a huge beef with them. I guess my beef is more with the size overall of the modular. It's 230 bucks, but smaller than the police station, which was a bigger part count, but smaller minifigure count. I think this might have some better prints on it. The jazz poster is pretty sweet. That music all night long is pretty sweet. I like the stained glass look in the windows, as well as the actual jazz club sign. The Taylor sign is also printed. But what we really get is the more condensed building with, like, a cramped interior, I guess. Like, that angle is cool, but look how set back that is from the main street. That's eight studs in uh, with the sidewalk there. So that's eight studs set back to the actual building. I don't know what the average sidewalk to stud ratio is, maybe six. There's the second floor right there. You get the office for the jazz club promoter that goes up to the third floor. This first floor back going all over the place is the actual jazz club, which looks a little cramped, but that's what we're getting here. A cramped interior with a higher price point. So I don't I don't get why they're doing that. I know they want to say, you know, there's a story for modulars now. Like, yes, there's there's all this story, feel-good stuff. But, like, dude, this is an 18-plus set. Like, I'm an adult. I don't need to be having a good story every time. I just want a building for my layout that looks good on the outside. Like, look at this picture right here with the pizza. Let's rewind real quick. To achieve this photo, they had to take off the front wall of the set you see those lines of studs right there that's where the exterior wall was for that set so they had, they had to take the exterior off for you to be able to see inside there and they can show you like show you the the inside they had to take the wall off but that's again what it looks like they're doing going forward you can see here that the jazz club first floor actually connects over to the pizza shop first floor i'm pretty sure that's just a big opening there that goes between those two i do like the awning for the pizza shop so there's that right here are the eight minifigures you get. The green scooter, I like that. Scooter guy, the musician promoter, the tailor with the scissors. Yes, I know. The drummer, quote unquote, with the Harry Potter wands, the singer, the bass player, the magician, and the pizza chef. I know everything's not comparable, but these are all the modulars that they have currently available. Assembly Square is $300. The police station is $200. The jazz club is going to be $230. The bookshop is right next to the jazz club is $200. Now those to me look almost identical in size on the exterior. Oh, and the boutique hotel is $230. But not really identical as you can see one, the jazz club is bigger than the other one, but they're like identical almost in the same size if the pizzeria was the same length as the little blue building there. It's just the $30 price difference between these two. Yes, there's three more minifigures. Yes, there's probably some more printed pieces in the jazz club which is a good thing on the exterior like that jazz club sign is great the marquee is great i like the stained glass but the bookshop again i think when that came out got ripped apart pretty good for having a lot of detail on the interior like you're getting more on the interior less on the exterior but that's my problem with this set but my problem is not always your problem so you could be on my side. You don't have to be on my side. I think it's a decent modular. I'm just frustrated that the way they're going with the trends, which has been that way for a while, but it's really starting to get more and more noticeable every year when the prices go up and up and these modulars seem smaller and smaller. That all being said, I like the set. I'll probably pick it up. But let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Now that we got all the images and information out there, will you be getting the set? I'll probably wait for the VIP GWP to come out with it. I'm not going to get it day one, I think. I think I'm really just going to wait for the GWP to come along with it. I don't need it that bad right now. Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. As always, bye now.